Hello and welcome to YouTube Log Day Number 20, where I measure and track what's going on behind the scenes, offering up insights on mistakes made and lessons learned. However, before we get started, I need to announce a major revi revision to my plans. I'll be pausing the site, and I'll describe why in a minute. So I just spent the past 10 months putting in 1,208 hours to attain a master's degree in data analytics. It was hard, but it was fun and totally worth it. And when that ended, I was looking around, what do I want to do next? And so I thought I'd put 20 days in starting up this channel. And I had really intended to go the long distance, much, much more than just 20 days. I wanted to go one, two, three years. And I've done this before with freeware channels twice, once in 1999 for about two years and once in 2000. And 10 for about a year and a half and I know you got to put the time and effort into it and you got to keep feeding it and I really wanted to do that with this channel but life happened and at my work they're doing a once in 10 years restructuring I knew it was kind of going to happen but now I've seen it laid out and so in the next three to 12 months there'll be an opportunity for me to transition so I need to stop from doing these videos now and I need to take that time after hours work and I need to reinvest it back into learning and preparing for those so and there's some certification classes and other stuff that I want to take put out by IBM and Duke University and others anyway I'm gonna stop doing these videos so here at day number 20 from the YouTube analytics the overview tab I have 122 views the watch time total 6.7 hours and four subscribers woohoo thanks to those of you that did subscribe Moving along to the Reach tab, 707 impressions where people were searching on YouTube and stumbled across my channel or my channel was visible to them and they didn't necessarily click it. 122 clicked it out of 707. So click-through rate is 9.6%. That's good, but it's still meaningless. Most of those uh, clicks were me and out of the impressions. So eh, I would have had to let the channel run a lot longer and get more people and not have my views biasing the small population and 28 unique viewers nice uh, moving along to engagement three minutes 19 seconds is the average watch time uh, the audience 28 unique viewers the four subscribers and 4.4 views per viewer moving along to the where does the time go oops that was supposed to be a 20 in this one uh, where does the time go in total one two three 123 hours I was starting to get better and faster, but still some of these videos take a long time for a 20 minute video, 16 hours, because there's a lot of research and et cetera going into it. And then there's all the production time and effort. With more practice, by the time I got to 50, 60, 70 videos, I get pretty good at it and the time would go down, but it is what it is. 123 hours in. Uh, so for 20 days, I made seven videos, not including this one. There's 123 hours total. 87 hours were on videos and then there's 49 hours of overhead just researching YouTube and getting ideas etc and that's front loading if I was gonna keep doing this and didn't pause it I would expect a hundred plus more hours 150 plus more hours It'd be an ongoing thing anyway 123 hours so and hardly any viewers I'd have to get probably up well over a thousand 1500 hours build a whole bunch of videos in a library and then I'd feel comfortable air quote, marketing, unquote, this site to friends and peers on LinkedIn and go out on other channels and answer questions. Back when I did freeware, I would build up the freeware, get it working, get it looking good, and then I would go market it heavily on all the freeware channels. And that's what drove the eyeballs over to it and got up into the hundreds of thousands of downloads 10 and 20 years ago. And I wanted to do the same thing here, but it would have taken a lot more time I still want to do it, but there's an opportunity at work, I, so I got to shift and, and act on that. But this content is like investing with compound interest. You put some time in, and then it's got to sit, and then people start to view it. And there's not enough content, it's not going to go anywhere. But if I had enough content, put in a year's worth and built 60, 70 videos out that were high quality educational videos, then they would sit and percolate for one or two years, and then they would start to take off, and I would keep augmenting it. But it takes time for the target audience, students, and the faculty that's running programs that teach SQL to pick it up and wire it in their content. So anyway, that was the plan. I'm going to pause it. I may revisit it later. And the last slide is kind of humorous. The cumulative time. So for one minute of video, 
of all the video that I created, for each minute of video, it took basically almost 56 minutes of effort per video. I'm sure it would have gotten better over time, but <laughs> it's like one hour of effort per one minute of video. When I used to do presentations and meetings, it was like 20 minutes of prep per one minute of meeting time. Anyway, 36 minutes was creating the video and 20 minutes was overhead, learning, uh, setting things up, etc. Um, I'm going to pause this. There's a spider on the wall. It's crawling down. I got to kill it before it gets out of reach. Okay, spider's dead. I'm back. So that's a lot of time. It's both a good thing and a bad thing. It's bad because it gets in the way of other opportunities. And sadly, that's why I'm pushing, pausing this channel for a while after just barely getting started. But the amount of time is a good thing too because that level of effort and commitment is a barrier to entry for most people to step in. So it's good and bad. And so I want to thank everyone that did watch this few videos that I put out. And I may be back. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I would like to be. I think this is fun. I'm, I'm trying to find some avenue throughout my career where I can do career stuff and then pause and come and post articles and post training and do little bits of freeware and then go back and focus on career and, and go back and forth. And I think this isn't a bad avenue for it. I just got to dial in the niche and probably figure out a better name. But anyway, this was fun doing these. I, I want to try doing them again in the future. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Thanks and bye-bye. Thank you for watching. And please, if you found this video helpful, click like and be sure to subscribe below.